Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be telling you about the form filling procedure of AMIT Academy of Maritime Education and Training. Uh, it is a private deemed university in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. So out of several courses it provides, I will be telling you or showing you the form filling procedure of BSc Nautical Science. Therefore stay in the video till the end and strictly adhere to the instructions that are given by me. And if you still have any doubts, please do write in the comment section, I will be addressing them. Open the laptop and then just go to the browser. Suppose you are going to the Chrome browser. Choose a profile in here. Search AME and from there click on the very first link or website uh, I'll be sharing you the link of the website here also in the description box then uh, you can see the admission 2023 on the right hand side you have to click on that once you click on it a website like this will be open you don't have to fill this inquiry form what you need to do is fill the uh, admission form the application form correct so the first option very first option the undergraduate undergraduate one you have to click on the apply now in a new tab application form will be open here you can see the details of uh, the uh, procedures or restrictions so just go through all these and you have to choose a photo uh, the photo yeah it is pasted like this uh, what the problem is that it should be less than 150 kb the background should be white not in blue color as it is mine so this photo might be rejected uh, photo should not be taken from phone selfie or anything like that. It should be uh, Passport size photo Now the applicant applicants name I am filling my details. You have to fill your details. Okay, so Again the name Then course applied for UG select the course BSc nautical science date of birth you have to select according to your date of birth okay suppose it is eight two thousand three so take an example Aadhaar card number it should be your Aadhaar card number it is 12 digit please do check it once you have filled it okay then the gender the blood group the religion the social status uh, I am filling others because I am an open general category and open there is no option like that. This is fisherman's community, uh, backward caste, other backward caste, scheduled caste, scheduled tribe. So just the general people please click on others. Fisherman's community yes or no according to what you are or if you are from the nationality. Indian resident, residential status urban or rural where are you living right now city then urban and uh, village then rural name of father or guardian you have to write your father's or guardian's name a name of mother you have to write your mother mother's name then if you have a passport click on yes otherwise click on no if you don't have a passport please go and apply for it as soon as possible because INU uh, has made it mandatory that uh, everyone should have a passport before the admission in course okay applicant email id you have to mention your email id here in this and uh, the parents email id should be here okay then the mobile number of the applicant if the number is indian write indian otherwise outside india write your phone number in this column after clicking on indian then the parents or guardians mobile number you have to write your mom or dad's mobile number uh, SMS will be sent to this number whatever number you will give the SMS will be sent on this number occupation of father or mother uh, Whoever is working write the occupation of that person anyone you can write okay? uh, Father or mother annual income you have to write the fathers or mothers whoever you have mentioned in the point 14 the annual income So suppose it is 8 lakh rupees Okay Then the address of the correspondence it is your address your current address should be here in the uh, application whatever you uh, your address is on the address proof or your driving license or your Aadhaar card if your Aadhaar card is not the correct address then the write the address of uh, the electricity bill whatever is in electricity bill okay then the permanent address if it is same as the above address then click on this one okay it will be copied down here and if the address is different permanent address is different suppose that you are living in a rental house then of course it will be different 
so click on this uh, do not click on this and write the other option uh, the other address okay okay so permanent address uh, click on this one if the address is same as the resident address uh, or the current address and if it is different just uh, write the different address in the column state and district is also necessary name of your school when you have to write the address of your school write the pin code of your school the school city matlab which city was your school located in then the state of your school and the district of your school okay then the local guardian suppose your uncle if you want to give details of your uncle to his address or his contact number to then you can write it in the 19th number column it is not mandatory if you want to write you can write otherwise please do not uh, hostel required yes or no yes because it is a bsc nautical science application form so bsc nautical science students have to live in the hostel as it is written here except bsc and bachelor's in marine engineering sports achievement if you have any right uh take on that otherwise click on no uh the standard 12th board registration number uh, it, it must be on your admit card please do check it and write it properly so or your mark sheet if you are standard 12th pass out then the standard 12th board name you have to write you have to write your english marks you have to write your physics marks you have to write your chemistry marks then you have to write your maths marks and then uh the final aggregate percentage the appearing students they what they need to do is either put 0 0 there because you don't have the marks or leave the column empty i prefer that you should leave the column empty uh, the correction will be made in future uh, if you join the college okay so this is icsc and senate 12th board is senate 12th board is icsc and send my 10th board was also icsc we have to write their senate 10th marks Okay, so appearing student can write the marks of standard tenth because they must be having the mark sheet. In the next column, that is after the standard tenth details, you have to put the name of uh, the union territory or state where you have given standard twelfth exam. So this, then standard tenth twelfth board's name ICSC. Uh, if any other board is there except these four, state CBSC ICSC NIOS, then you can write the name of the board. Uh, specify the entrance examination center so a list is given okay it is the capital of all the states since i live in bihar i'll put patna then uh, the name of jee or imu cet test if you have given like uh, suppose you are given you have given the imu cet test past year last year so what you need to do is just write the cet number it will be something like cet cet 00 something like that just complete it and <clears throat> the month of the year it was june i guess uh, the test score or test rank whatever your rank was just put it hit there and from the next point 24 is where did you get the information about this then just click on any uh, any one of it uh, or you can click on all or if you click on others you have to specify it okay. are you aware of the fee structure if yes you are aware then click on yes otherwise click on no and if you do want a video separate video on the amet application form not application form amet procedures and uh, placements and uh, companies and all then please do tell me i'll research it and uh, make a separate video on it now the declaration just click on the declaration click on online online payment and submit it once you submit uh, you will be re redirected to the payment window now what is what i want to tell you that if you click on the submit option and then some details are missing like see that uh, this is uh, asterisk sign compulsory and i have not written any number here so it will come here and show you that hey you have not filled the form correctly please uh, do fill it so please check once again so that's all about the form filling procedure of uh, amet now further we will move on to the v ships recruitment drive and how it should be filled so let's come to the amet application form once again Uh, but uh, you can see on the right hand side we have v ships admission recruitment drive so you have to click on it and uh, a new website will be opened and you have to go just down about v ships for v ships registration click on this link so you have to click on this link for the very registration of v ships v ships is a management company okay application number of amet so this is the application number whatever number you have got from the application application that you have just submitted you have to write it there then your name as per the 10th certificate okay 
where Aadhaar card number that is a 12 digit number then the course applied either it is BSc Nautical Science or BTech Marine uh, email ID your email ID should be written here so uh, applicant mobile number your phone number should be written here your whatsapp number should be written here whatever your number is passport mandatory yes uh, if you have your passport if you have a passport and click on yes they will ask you your passport number so write your passport number here uh, whatever is it and uh, if you click on no they won't ask for it but uh, please do see that you have your passport ready as soon as possible now your date of birth click on this one then just go below and so go below your birth here select your birth here whatever is it in this august and thing so it has automatically automatically come here and the gender male english marks whatever your english marks are whatever your 12th marks in English are, 12th marks in physics are, chemistry, mathematics are, then your PCM aggregate will be calculated and after that you have to submit the application form. But before that you have to click on the declaration that yeah, you confirm by the best of your knowledge that the information given in this form is correct and your application will be submitted. You don't need to fill uh, many form in this. So you don't need to pay any fees in this registration form and in the registration form of AMET you have to pay 1000 rupees there of course if you have any doubts please do mention it in the comment section so the final step is summit that is all let's come back to the full screen so that is all about the form filling procedure of AMET and VSHIPS now the contact number that you have given and the email ID that you have given it will be used for the further uh, instructions that needs to be provided to you by the AMET or the company too and if you have any doubts please do write in the comment section and join the whatsapp group of IMU mate the link has been given in the description you can follow me on instagram the id will be showing somewhere here or in the description box 